Hello, welcome listening to One India News. I am Akash, and these are the trending stories that are creating buzz. No efficient steps taken to bring back black money, says Ram Jaitmalani. The Supreme Court on Tuesday was told that the unaccounted black money stashed away to tax havens would not be recovered, as the central government and its bureaucrats entrusted with the task have not taken efficient steps to recover it, describing the steps taken so far to recover the money as fraud on the nation. Eminent jurist Ram Jaitmalani told a bench of Chief Justice. H L Datta, Justice Madan B Lokus, and Justice A K Sikri that the present government is not taking any efficient steps to bring back black money stashed away from India. Government appoints new governors, transfers two. The BJP-led India government on Tuesday appointed four governors and transferred two others who had been appointed during the tenure of the previous UPA government. Vacancies, however, remain in Bihar, Telangana, Assam, and Himachal Pradesh. The BJP National Executive Member V. Shanu Murganathan has been appointed as the Governor of Meghalaya. Rashtrapati Bhavan Kamenik said that the Governor of Jharkhand, Syed Ahmed, who was appointed in September 2011, has been shifted to Manipur for the remainder of his term that ends in September next year. The BJP leader from Odisha, Draupadi Murmu, has been appointed as the new Governor of Jharkhand. Retail inflation falls IIP. At five-month low, the slowdown in the index of industrial production numbers to a five-month low of 2.1 percent is a reminder to the Narendra Modi administration that the acceleration in the economic growth could only happen when the government put money on the table, which would then be followed by the private sector. The Modi government, which has initiated work on multiple fronts to ease business environment, had indeed promised to increase public investment in crucial areas such as road and infrastructure. If the government walk the talk, some improvements in the growth scenario can happen over the next six months to one year, and private investors would come into the scene when they see the government acting on its promises. Land bill referred to joint panel. The government was forced to defer its plan to legislate and refer the controversial land acquisition bill along with the GST bill to the parliamentary committee. For the land bill, a 30-member joint committee of parliament, which consists of 20 MPs of the Lok Sabha and 10. and MPs from the Rajya Sabha has been told to submit their reports on the first day of the monsoon session earlier this week in an interview to Dhanik Bhaskar Modi accused vested interest for creating confusion over the changes in the land bill after i had formed the government almost all chief ministers told me one thing the land acquisition bill need to be corrected otherwise we will be nowhere i have their letters also he told Dhanik Jagran in an interview published on monday Well, that's all for now. But for more news and updates, log on to our YouTube channel www.youtube/oneindianews.